Hi, this is Ms. Hang. I'm going to go ahead and show you the product of powers property, which is located in lesson 8.1 in our textbook. In this first example, we have negative 6 times negative 6 cubed. Now you should notice that the base of each power is the same. The base here is negative 6, the base over here is also negative 6. So we can go ahead and apply this shortcut, which will make it a little bit easier to solve. So. Our product of powers property indicates that we're going to first add your exponents together. Notice that you're not going to multiply the bases together. You're going to keep the same base, negative 6. Now notice there's no 1 written here. The default is always a 1 if there's not a visible exponent. So you take the sum of 1 and 3, which therefore our new exponent is going to be 4. Now in class I've taught you how to expand this, so go ahead and expand it so you understand what that means. So the product of negative 6 times negative 6 times negative 6 times negative 6 is 1,296. So this is an example of how you would use product of powers, but please make sure that you are multiplying with the same base. If they are different bases, this property will not work. Thanks for watching.